Today on Premiere Prep, I show you how to take off like Superman. Oh! Ow! Hello Film Worlders, it is me your host, Micah Pendleton, and welcome to Premiere Prep. Special thanks to JKK for requesting this episode. So, you want to fly like Superman? Let's do it. I wanted this to be as simple as possible, so I watched After Effects tutorials, Blender tutorials, and behind the scenes featurettes to make this as easy as possible. And what I figured out is pretty simple. It's not easy and it's not hard. So how do you do this effect? The footage you need is a foreground plate and a clean plate. The foreground plate will have your actor simply doing his or her lines and then they jump. It looks kind of silly. Superman. Like Superman. 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 Then you need a standalone shot of your actor in his flying pose. I had to rotate my camera 90 degrees because I couldn't get my camera far enough to fit my whole body in frame. But why shoot video? Why not just use a photo for this element? You could use a photo, but you don't get any moving grain and your actor is completely still. The slight movement of your actor and the moving grain makes it worth using video. Now for the compositing. I'll be using Blender in this example, but keep in mind that you can apply these techniques to After Effects, Motion, Hit Film, Natron, and so on and so forth. So let's jump into Blender. Go to the Node Editor, select Scene Mode, then hit Use Nodes. I personally like the backdrop. Make sure that your render resolution and FPS is correct. Now import your foreground video. This is as simple as drag and drop. Input the correct number of frames. Then hold down Control and Shift, then click on your video node. This will bring up your viewer node. Now import your clean plate. Again, input the correct number of frames. Press Shift A to bring up your node menu. Go down to Color and select Alpha Over Node. Input it in between your foreground node and your viewer node. Connect the clean plate to the top input. Go to the frame that your actor is at their highest and blurriest after the jump. Change the factor to 0, then press I to add a keyframe. Now go back 2 frames and bring the factor back up to 1. At this point, your actor fades out. Now bring the footage of your actor posing. Again, make sure that the correct number of frames are here. You may need to change the offset. Now go to the UV image editor. In the mode selector, select Mask. Now create a new mask and a new mask layer. Select your video and mask around your character in a counterclockwise direction. Note that I'm not completely on the edge. I'm a little bit into the character. This is so that we can feather. To do so, press A to select all your mask points, then hold down Shift and click and drag on one of your points to bring out the feather. Now you can go back to the compositor and add your mask. You will now want to add the set alpha node. This will isolate your character from the background. Now plug your video into the image input, and your mask into the alpha input. Now plug the image output into the bottom of a new alpha over node, and put your foreground footage into the top. Now add a displace node, then put in front of that a rotate node, then add a directional blur node. Change the iterations to 6, the distance to 0.03, and the rotation to 90 degrees. I need to rotate my footage 90 degrees. You probably won't have to, so you won't even need this node. Now position your character over the foreground character, matching them up as close as possible using the displace node. Now add a keyframe on your displace node, then go about six frames forward and take your character out of frame and add a keyframe here. Now your character is animated. Now all that is left is to fade him into the shot over your foreground plate. To do that, just do the reverse of fading out your foreground character. And you're done! A Superman takeoff. 
That's really all there is to it. Not that hard. And you can have a lot of fun with this type of effect. That pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Next episode, I'll be reviewing and showing off my everyday video editor, KDEN Live. So make sure you give this video a like if you're excited for that. Till next time, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm your host, Micah Pendleton. Remember, dream big, pay small. I'll catch you next time.